Welcome to the new Fly Fisher. I'm your host, Jenna McEwen, and today's show I'm in beautiful western Newfoundland with Newfound Outfitters. We're going to be fishing for Atlantic salmon and casting both wet and dry flies. It's going to be a great show, so stay with us. The new fly fisher has been made possible thanks to Newfoundland and Labrador Outfitters Association, Orvis Sporting Traditions, Rio Products, Superfly, fly fishing made easy. In this episode, I'm traveling to Western Newfoundland, an area known for its majestic landscape, bountiful wildlife, and of course, world-class Atlantic salmon fishing. We are the guests of Newfound Outfitting, a relatively remote lodge located just a few hours driving distance from the Deer Lake Airport. Ray Humber, owner of Newfound Outfitting, has created a unique experience that has customers coming back year after year. Uh, I've made great friends coming here, and that's the primary reason I keep coming back, because I've established some, some great friendships with the Humbers and with the guides. And the second reason is it's, uh, it's a great way to relax from work, and you catch some fish, you catch, you catch them on wet flies, you catch them on dry flies. It's, it's a wonderful time. I was so excited to get out on the river and start casting for the mighty Silver Leaper. Ray took us to a great spot and helped me wade out into the river. It was so exciting to be able to watch the salmon jump right in front of us. I couldn't wait to get one on my line. Oh! Wow! Wow! Fresh salmon came into our run, but unfortunately, I was having trouble setting the hook quick enough for those who came to my fly. Oh, 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 oh. All right, all right, all right, that's all. Okay, all the way around the eye. Okay, that's the stop. Okay, take your time. Any slack, look, keep a tight line, a tight line. Yes. Oh, he's coming in fast, I'm trying to keep my rod as high as I can and reel in all the slack he's giving me, just like really like great told me to. Oh. Whoa, oh no! He's gone! He, he took my, oh no, he got my fly. He didn't, still got my fly. I don't know what happened. I think I may, I think I may have got a little bit too much slack. I was trying to keep up with them, but Arr. Jenny, I think we're going to try a dry fly again. Yeah? Yeah. Now? Yeah. Just one more. Just one more. Just for good luck. See, that was a better cast. Yeah, that was. The lawn and we slapped the water so hard. As we made our way down the river, heading back to the lodge after a fantastic day, I couldn't help but look forward to tomorrow and the chance to connect with one of these acrobatic salmon. Stay with us.
As a novice salmon angler, having Ray as my guide and a teacher proved very helpful. Ray, since I'm so new to salmon fishing, I've only been salmon fishing one time before. This is a completely new setup for me. Could you just explain to me why we're using this and how it works? Okay, well, we're gonna have a lot of fun. <laughs> since you're new. <laughs> I'm very excited. <laughs> what we gotta do, Jenny, look, we gotta, I like the tapered leaders. Okay. Uh, we got a 15 pound test, and then we got about two feet of 13. Okay. And then we got a two feet of, about two feet of 10. And then the last we got about a, I left about a three foot, eight pound tippet. Okay. And we're using a little, little heavier tippet because that allows us to fight the fish harder, get them in, and get them back into the water and let them go, swim, swim, swim free. And that's, <laughs> that's the goal, to let those fish go. Yeah, that's the goal, yeah. You look at the pool, you look at the water to run. If the water is low and you got more riffly water uh, moving fast, well then I typically start with a wet fly, like a blue charm, green machine, thunder, lightning, uh, yeah, white wing blue charms, that kind of, that type of thing. Uh, if you come to a pool and it's flat water, water's not moving, but it's smooth, well then it's ideal dry fly conditions. So then I work at the bottom of the pool and start, and start working up the pool with a dry fly. There were four wet flies that Ray recommended for fishing Atlantic salmon during our trip. The Blue Lady, the Green Machine, Thunder and Lightning, and blue charm. After a great morning of fishing, Ray took us down the river, where we met up with a few of the other guests for lunch. These social moments are one of the ways that newfound outfitting creates an amazing experience both on and off the water. The guides cooked us a delicious shore lunch, completed by great conversation and a beautiful view. I couldn't wait to get back on the water after lunch, and with Ray's help, I was out casting again in no time. That was a little too high, though. Yeah. We're almost at the end of the pool, eh? We're getting closer to that fish, where that fish jumped out. Oh. oh, okay, okay, let go of that line there. Let go of this line. Let go of it? Okay, let go, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, keep your ride to buy. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Good, good. Good. It's a nice salmon. Yeah. <laughs> okay, hold my eye. Let go of you. Hold the jump. Don't hold on to her. Okay. Don't reel into her. Let the reel, don't hold on the reel. Okay, is my, can okay, you want to check my drag? Can you hold until I get to knit? Yeah. Yeah, you drag is fine. Drag's fine. If he jumps. Okay. Okay, you go get the net. Okay. Okay, when the line goes slack, just keep the snug line on it, okay? Okay, real, real. Okay, not too okay. much, not too hard. Just keep your rod tip on. Rod tip up. You go girl. get the net. That's the girl. You take your time, okay? Okay. Just don't hold the line and don't hold the reel. Keep your right eye, keep your right eye. Don't take it, nice steady line. <sighs> Woohoo! Keep your real, 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 real. Real, real. Okay, keep it, you, uh, that's right. But you use your fighting butt now. Okay, never. Never reel it in past your line, your salmon line. Right. It's all right. Oh, let go, let go. Don't hold that reel. Don't hold the reel. I'm not holding it. You're not quite ready yet. Okay. Keep it up. Don't reel, don't reel past your salmon line. I'm huh? not reeling.
Okay, you're staring up there. for me I don't really have a lot of experience with salmon so I don't want to hurt this gorgeous fish oh it's really a beautiful fish I'm gonna get down in the water okay. a little bit there now oh wow <laughs> <Woo -hoo>. thanks <laughs> <Hold> Ray <on. laughs> wow it's it's really difficult to find the words to describe what it's like to catch your first Atlantic salmon on a wet fly because it's so it's so exciting. They fight so well. And here in Western Newfoundland, it's just beautiful. The sun is shining. It's a gorgeous day. And that that's just the Terry on top of the cake of catching that fish. It's beautiful and I, I can't wait to catch another one. More salmon action when we return. Off on quality service, really. Uh, when people come, we we look to uh, our price is basically based on the service we provide. And if we don't provide a good service, then we can't charge adequate price. So we started in 1999 with that to offer service and to promote a uh, a good a good business, a good Newfoundland. Uh, down to earth, genuine business, and so far it's been working for us. We've been here now uh, again. Uh, we took our first sports in 1999. Uh, they're with us today. Every year they come back, and uh, we pride ourselves of having a about a 95 percent return clientele year after year. With great weather in the forecast, we decided to hit the river early. One of the best things about early morning fishing is the absolute beauty of the sunrise and, of course, the nature around you. We traveled to a different part of the river, a short walk to a beautiful spot just below a set of falls. Yeah, so Jenny, as you're walking down, you notice the terrain changed on her foot there, and there's much more rocky and a lot of ledge rock down there. So this is the spot where you got a weighty stick as well as you use it. Okay, we got our waiting staffs, got my waiting belt, we're ready to go out. Be careful, hopefully catch a salmon. Let's go catch a fish, okay. That's what you want, right there. Right there. Yeah. Yeah, it was nice to see Jenny. Uh, so many fishermen on the river, but it's always good to use proper fishing etiquette when on a river. Uh, the best way to do that, of course, is when a fisherman is in a pool. Let him work down through the pool cover the pool well. If you do rise a fish, he or she rises a fish, then they can change the fly, go over them again. A few minutes, nothing happens, then they gotta move on down through the pool to give the next person a chance to fish down through the pool. Okay. And that's what we try to promote here at Newfound Outfitting. Great. After a few hours of fishing, the weather began to change, which is why you must come prepared. You never know what the weather's gonna do. It can get cold, it can get hot, so it's always best to be prepared. I've got all my layers on, and I'm gonna take one off now. It's warmed up a little bit, but if the weather gets cold again, I have my jacket to put on. One thing that Ray has told me while I've been here is that red isn't exactly conducive to salmon fishing. I guess it's always better to wear neutral colors, your grays, 
browns, greens, even blues that match the sky. Those work better than bright colors like this right here. So I'm gonna take off my red jacket. Now it's a little bit warmer and I'm gonna try and see if I can find a salmon. So you helped me try on the fly. We chose an orange bomber. Um, can you just explain to me how you want me to fish it? Oh yes, uh, of course for dry fly. It's totally different than fishing with fly. I want you to start that rock there, straight out front, short line first in a fan motion. So short line, fan it down, a little longer line, and work your way so across the pool. And as you every line. cast, just lengthen your line a foot or so. Okay. And let it swing down to the end of the pool. This way, you'll cover all, all the pool. And when you get to the other side, then you work upstream with the dry fly. Okay. Okay? Great. The dry flies we primarily used were an orange bomber, a yellow bomber, a brown and blue bomber, and a brown bomber. Ray suggested these colors based on the weather conditions, time of year, and of course, experience. Yeah, okay, we just uh, fished down with a wet fly. Yeah. Then we fished back up through with the dry fly. Mm -hmm. uh, the wind come up, it's a little difficult with the dry fly to get the proper uh, presentation. Persistence and pre presentation. Yeah. So there's another angle there. We're going to let him fish down through the pool, and then we'll let the pool rest, and we'll go and change flies and go back again. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, the land landscape around here is pretty unique. Uh, Western Newfoundland is just a beautiful place to be in. Uh, unique geology, uh, old growth forest is very important, and the old growth forest contains various species of, species of wildlife. Moose is probably, uh, everybody knows, very plentiful there in Newfoundland. Caribou, uh, we did go through a downturn, but they're coming back very strongly. We see woodland caribou around the river on times. Black bear is always here and uh, they're indigenous. They, we see them all the time. We see one the other day. So we see those uh, big game animals. Plus we got a variety of uh, birds, uh, birds of prey. We got the great horned owls. We got bald eagles. We got half spray, uh, to name a few. Uh, of course, we got lots of smaller game. We got beavers and chipmunks and all that kind of stuff. So it was nice to see those little creatures alive and doing well. Just a little bit ahead, that way. No! Oh, take it, take it, take it, take it. Uh, you had it, you got that, you, no. I, that was my fault, I, yeah. I, I looked away. Yeah, at, you got, you, oh you, you, you took it, oh, you got to do it down, this. now you got to set though, because he's not going to hook himself. <laughs> yep. He had it and spit it out. Wow. Whoa! Oh! Keep your right eye, it's a girl. That's the girl, keep your right eye. I'm coming, take your time. Whoa. Let go, bow, that's the stuff. That's the stuff. Woohoo! Take so, your time. Oh. That fish. Oh, I was about to give up all hope, but. That's the hope of it, isn't it? Take your time. Yeah, take keep your that time. rod tip up, right? Just real mean, keep your right. Now, when you're reeling, don't Ooh. reel your salmon line past the top of your... Okay. Whoa! Wow, nice fish, nice fish. Wow! <laughs> let him go, let him go, let him go. Don't hold the reel. Okay, okay. And Ray told me to make sure girl, you keep... Use your fighting butt. Now, that's the stuff. Use your fighting butt. Keep the rod butt. up. Your rod tip up. I'm not going to make the same mistake and... and uh, Keep the rod up when the fish jumps. I learned that. <laughs> He's tiring out now. Keep him up this way. Yes. 
Okay, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. It's all right. Whoa. Yeah, I love it. Oh, I'm trying for you there, Ray. It's all right. It's all right. Okay, real, real, real. Got him? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yay! There we go. Well done. <laughs> Thank you so oh, much. Dry fly. That's a, that's a bumblebee pattern dry fly, and what a fighter. So Ray's going to handle that fish for me, and... Hopefully we can get a nice clean release. Just one of can the many beautiful, yeah, beautiful salmon. Oh. <laughs> Man, that's, go, that's great. Fun. Beautiful. That's gorgeous. Oh, okay. I can't believe how gorgeous these fish are. Just beautiful coloring and <sighs> this is just so exciting, it doesn't get any better than this. I can't think of a better way to end our time here in Western Newfoundland. If you'd like to know more about Newfound Outfitting, fishing here in Western Newfoundland, or our show, visit us on the web at www.thenewflyfisher.com. From all of us here, thanks for joining us and we'll see you soon. The New Fly Fisher has been made possible thanks to Newfoundland and Labrador Outfitters Association. Orvis Sporting Traditions. Rio Products. Superfly, fly fishing made easy.